iPhone users face various types of problems when they update to new iOS, transfer data from old to new iPhone, jailbreak or launch any new app on their devices. There can be many reasons for iPhone problems from hardware or software related to even some bug in iOS. So what to do when this type of problem arises? Hey guys, this is Thruval Patel. Welcome to my channel Technocrate Thruval. Guys, there are n number of problems when it comes to iPhone. These problems tend to occur whether you are using any iPhone model or any iOS version. Here I have covered 14 most common problems and their solution. So let's get started. Spilled a glass of water on your iPhone or accidentally dropped it in the swimming pool? Water damaged iPhones may or may not turn on. There are high chances of losing your iPhone data too. Even Apple does not recover liquid damages in its one year warranty. Dry it by rubbing on a towel and remove the SIM card. Do not plug it or turn it on. You can also keep it with silica gel sachets for about 2 days to dry. Unfortunately, water or any other liquid in your iPhone results in its loss of iPhone data. Do not panic. You can recover your lost photos, videos, audios, contacts, etc. from iCloud or iTunes backup. If unable to restore from backup, you can also use data recovery softwares for iPhone. iPhone battery draining fast is one of the most common problem of iPhone users across the globe. The battery life problems are usually encountered after an iOS upgrade. The poor iPhone battery performance can be tackled through factory reset, controlling the app's usage that consume high battery such as Uber, Google Maps, YouTube, etc. Also, uninstalling the apps like Facebook and YouTube, accessing them through Safari can also considerably save your iPhone battery. Dropping your iPhone, spilling water on it, updating an app, malware, bad firmware, jailbreak, etc. could be the cause of iPhone black screen. To fix the issue, first begin with charging your iPhone completely to rule out any battery issue. If the problem persists, restore your iPhone to factory settings via iTunes but this also leads to iPhone data loss. If you do not have a backup, then consider using data recovery softwares for iPhone to recover your lost photos, videos, music, messages, chats, contacts, etc. from the device. Have you faced messages like iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it? Complaints of iPhone getting hot to an extent of explosion are not new. To fix overheating iPhone, first take the hot device to a cooler environment away from heat or direct sunlight. Remove the iPhone case, stop using for some time or better switch it off for a few minutes. You can also try reset all settings on your iPhone to fix overheating problem. Updating to new iOS also sometimes resolves the issue. Yes, you can forget your iPhone passcode. As a result, you make several attempts to try unlocking your device. Your iPhone gets disabled asking to retry after 5, 15, 20 minutes and so on. To unlock your disabled iPhone, reset the device and set a new passcode. Erase the old password by restoring iPhone through iTunes or iCloud. You can also use the recovery mode to fix disabled iPhone. The process to fix disabled iPhone leads to complete data loss including all the passwords, photos, videos, music, safari bookmarks, contacts, apps, camera roll, chats, etc. Thus, recover all the data from iCloud backup or use the iPhone recovery software before troubleshooting the problem. There can be several reasons for your iPhone to get stuck on Apple logo such as jailbreak of iPhone, failed iOS update during retrieving of data from backup, hardware problems, deletion of some iOS files, etc. You can fix the issue by restarting the iPhone, doing hard reset or putting the device in recovery mode. Remember, hard reset leads to complete data loss from your iPhone. You can restore lost data from the backup, else you can use iPhone data recovery solution. 
an iPhone app can freeze while using or just after launching it. It could be probably because your iOS version does not support the app or the app is not properly installed on your device. If any iPhone app freezes, stops responding or unexpectedly quits, close the app, restart your device and again check if the app is working. Sometimes reinstalling the latest version of the app from the App Store also resolves the iPhone issue. If your iPhone's display screen is lit during call, it means the proximity sensor is not working. This might also cause problem with touchscreen. A faulty proximity sensor in iPhone can be the manufacturing defect or a software issue. The problem may also occur after you have replaced your iPhone screen. To troubleshoot, start your iPhone or reboot or perform factory reset, but do take backup at iCloud or iTunes before performing these tasks. If your iPhone's touchscreen is not working, ensure the screen is clean and dry. Next, restart the iPhone and the touchscreen should work. If not, clear the cache data and free up iOS storage space. In case the screen is damaged, broken or the iPhone was dropped, then take the device to the authorized Apple service center. iPhone error 56 usually occurs while restoring the device via iTunes. This may be because of a hardware issue or a software conflict. To fix the error 56, use another USB cable, try with another port or restore your iPhone on other computer. Also close all the third party softwares such as games, antivirus etc on the iPhone before performing upgrade or restoration via iTunes. Face ID feature in phone allows you to access your device, app store and iTunes etc without entering passcode. Complaints of failures of Face ID after the iOS upgrade are common. Reboot the iPhone or simply turn off and on the device to make the Face ID functional. If this does not work, reset the Face ID under settings. If still unable to fix, then contact Apple Center. If you do not hear sound from your iPhone, first ensure the device is not on silent mode, the volume button is all up and Bluetooth is turned off. If you still cannot hear or distorted sound is coming, open any app that has music and set the volume slide up and tap the volume up button. You can also restart your device as restarting resolves many phone issues. If none works, the problem could be of hardware. Your iPhone speaker needs to be replaced or repaired. Failed Bluetooth connection or unable to pair your iPhone with a Bluetooth device is another common iPhone problem. The initial simple hack is to go to the settings, turn off and then turn on the Bluetooth and restart your device. You can also toggle airplane mode. If this does not fix the issue, go to settings then go to Bluetooth and select forget this device and then again try to pair it. Updating to the newer iOS version also often solves the problem. Many users complain their iPhone no longer connects to their personal Wi-Fi network. The initial solution is to restart your iPhone and check the Wi-Fi connection. Make sure that the router is working fine and is updated to the latest firmware. It should also support Apple product. If the problem is not resolved, Try connecting to Wi-Fi after attempting reset network settings under iPhone's settings. However, if this fixes does not lead to success, upgrade to a newer version or restore an earlier version. So guys, I hope this compilation of most common iPhone problems and their solutions was helpful. If so, then support me by hitting the like button and share this video with your friends and family. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Also let me know in the comments which iPhone problem you are facing the most. Before you close this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at technocrat underscore throughal. We'll see you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe and stay motivated. Peace.